and search teams today centered their search on a section of Abadea Forest near Njabini in Nandarwa County, where the plane is believed to have gone down last evening in bad weather. Our reporter, Enoch Sikolia, has been covering the search efforts in Nyandarwa and filed the following story. At 2 p.m. Wednesday, residents of Njambini in Nyandarwa County decided to venture into the expansive Abadea Forest, joining the search for the missing Flysax aircraft with 10 people on board. <laughs> As we ventured deep into the forest, helicopters from the search and rescue team dominated the skies. The team comprising of officers from the National Police Service, KWS, Kenya Forest Service and Kenya Red Cross are focusing their energies on locating the aircraft from the air before engaging troops on the ground. It's a white street area and if we, don't, uh, if we allow people just to go randomly, uh, they'll get tired before the main work. Now we've been here for four hours deep into the Abadea forest, joining members of the public from Njambini area in Nyandarwa County who maintain that they are here to assist security operators in the search and rescue operation. The search team called off the operation and will resume on Thursday. We're advising uh, the local communities who are working with us to provide information which is vital to lead to the near uh, area where we can search uh, and conduct the focus search. The aircraft that went missing Tuesday evening was flying from Kitale to Nairobi before it disappeared from the radar. Ten people were aboard the vessel and some of the relatives have been camping here at Nyambini as they await information about the aircraft. We are deep into the Abadea forest and I'm very, very, very exhausted. I don't know what time we will have to go back to where we parked our vehicles. The search team says until the job is done, they are hopeful. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV in the county of Nyandarwa.